Jones pull up for a three. And foul is called as uh, James I'll try to move to his right. Foul on Martin. And you know, there's getting a little chippy out here between Kenyon Martin and Daniel Gibson and Mo Williams. Looks like they were a technical assess to Kenyon Martin. A little shove elbow as the play was ending right there on that pick and roll situation. So Mo Williams at the line for the first time. You see the pick and roll coming right here. The, the Cavaliers like to run a one-two pick and roll with the point guard. You see the elbow. And you remember last night as Matt Barnes and Ray for Alston kind of got into a situation like that that kind of escalated with all the pushing and shoving and uh, things like this happen when a little car tries to set a screen. And up at 11-point lead. Denver does have a 12 and a 20 remaining, but time is running out of the nuggets. Here is Phillips. For Denver, it's game two of a three-game road trip. They finish up at Boston tomorrow night. That's nice back to back. And for Denver, Cleveland, by game two of a three-game home stand. Oh, what is the score the last eight for the Cavaliers? Now Valjeau and Martin come together and Kevin Martin is in front of Jason Joe Crawford being kept away by head coach George Carl. The thing is really escalating and Martin is hit with another technical and has... That's an ejection. Oh, uh, like I said, you knew things were getting a little bit testy and this is what happened especially for playoffs and down teams. Obviously, we know there's not a lot of love lost. These two teams are in separate conferences, but because of the rivalry between LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony, it's kind of been put in the forefront. And, and don't think that last night's altercation between those two teams didn't have something to do with this. It's the elbow right there, cracking into the screen. Joe Crawford had enough of it because it was Kenyon Martin that had just done the same thing to play before down at that end of the floor. I will say this. That is just a foul right there. He shouldn't have been thrown out. I understand that he got a technical before when he tried to go through Daniel Gibson, but he, at, at worst, that might be a flavored foul. You shoot a, you shoot the free throw and take the ball out. You shouldn't get thrown out for something like that. The only thing we're missing is what was said on the floor. It's called a flagrant two, and Joe Crawford, who 